Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Big time summer showdown at SBCs in FIFA Ultimate Team yesterday. I want to talk about it, what happened on the market, and which SBC that you should probably be doing, and what it means for the game going forward this week, and what also happened to the market today. Because of that, I want to go over Monday's content and also talk about stuff that we could possibly see today on Tuesday, because every single day of this Summer Heat promo, it's like something new is coming, some type of new content is coming out in this game, and it's just, it's honestly very hard to keep up with uh, on a daily basis because there's so much content coming out, and we finally, we finally got that upgrade to Diaby as well, and I'll talk about that in a second. But, big time matchup coming later this week on Thursday, Liverpool, the champions of the Premier League, are going to play against Manchester City. Regardless of this game that is being played, two fantastic SBC options today for the Summer Showdown, which again, this this whole uh, this concept of SBCs in FIFA upgraded based on a real-life performance is insane. I really hope this uh, continues into FIFA 21, and it, it happens from basically the start, right? They could do this uh, almost you know weekly or bi-weekly. That would be fine with me, and it could be really, really dope. So I hope they continue this in FIFA 21. But... Compared to last week with Diaby and Boetius, Fabinho and Phil Foden today, this is crazy, crazy good value cards uh, for the price. I want to talk about both of these again. I think Fabinho is the one that you probably want to do from like a FIFA perspective. Uh, obviously, you're doing this card with the hope that Liverpool win the game. He goes to a 95 rated plus three. We saw the kind of boost that Diaby got and we'll look at that card in a second. Uh, so we can kind of guesstimate what those cards could look like. But this card in FIFA looks absolutely juiced. You, you put a little, um, I think you put probably an, an uh, engine chemistry style on this card. Boost the agility and balance as much as you can. And this card's looking saucy. He'll have over 90 pace if he gets upgraded, at least close to it. And he could almost be club 90. He could, he could be very, very close to a club 90 card if he gets upgraded. And regardless, this price for this SBC is so good. For a Fabinho player with the links and just the, the Liverpool links, the Brazilian links, and the type of player that this is, 140,000 coins for both of these cards, 83 and 84 rated squads. It's such a W. Again, just continuing how this promo is probably one of the best in FIFA Ultimate Team history. I think a lot of the hype today was on Fabinho just because of the Brazilian CDM that he is in the Premier League. The links, of course, if you're a Liverpool fan, the links to that Bobby Firmino that just came out, the perfect link there. Other Brazilians that have come out, you know, you have uh, like insane Tots cards, Brazilians uh, like Tellez. You've got flashback Militao, flashback Allen, a nice little center defensive mid partnership between Fabinho and Allen possibly. And I think this card was the most popular pick today from these two. Uh, of course, if you're looking at it from who's probably going to get upgraded, you would think Fabinho would get upgraded, right? You'd think Fabinho and Liverpool would go on to beat Manchester City, especially with how City played last week. But... Um, you don't know, man, because Liverpool has won the title. You know, maybe their heads aren't in it as much anymore. It's going to be an interesting game this week. So again, they could go either plus one if it is a draw and plus three to each card if it is a win for either side. Just to give you kind of a glimpse of what that could look like. This is a little chart that was put together by QTN underscore 11 on Twitter. This is his logo right here, so check him out. This is a sick graph. This is a really, really dope graphic with a plus three boost on Fabinho and Foden, what these cards could look like respectively with that plus three boost if either team does win. The thing that sets Fabinho apart as well from the Phil Foden here, in my opinion, uh, is that we already have a Bruno Fernandez 94 rated card that, uh, you know, if you already have that card in FIFA or if you already did the Bobby Firmino SBC, do you really, really need another center attacking mid from the Premier League? Especially with this Phil Foden card, is it going to be better than Bruno Fernandez? Probably not. This Bruno Fernandez card is looking really juiced. Uh, and yes, Phil Foden is cool. That's awesome. Like an English center attack in mid. He is four star, four star. So it's a very good looking card. But I think Fabinho just has that hype. I'm going to be doing Fabinho in hopes that Liverpool do win. And that he does get upgraded. But I want to show you guys the Diaby upgrade that happened late tonight. The Diaby 95 rated upgrade did happen. And again, uh, it was a solid upgrade, right? You can see we have the white flame at the top. It was a solid upgrade. The pace is the only thing that is a bit suspect. Because the pace, he had 98 pace before. It was 98 acceleration, 98 sprint speed, I believe. And he has 99 pace now. But the in-game stats didn't change. 
that is the only disappointment I see with this card in the boost. Uh, he did get nice boost elsewhere. I believe he got plus 5 shooting, plus 3 passing, uh, plus 3 dribbling, plus 3 defense, and then plus 5 physical. So we got... Uh, the, the important stat that he did hit here was he got into the 90s for long passing, uh, where he was in the 80s before, and he also got up 90 composure, where he was at like 86, I think, or 87 before. So a, a healthy upgrade to this Diaby card, making him a very solid French left wing in FIFA. Four-star, four-star, so I'm kind of actually uh, might try this guy out for a game or two just to see how he is. But that's kind of... It was a plus three overall upgrade, but of course he got higher than plus three boosts on the stat category. So that is something that we know from now on that it's not just a plus three boost all around. It is uh, possibly more than that in the actual individual statistics and the in-game stats. So that is nice. And that's a solid upgrade, right? GG to EA for making that upgrade. The pace again is the only kind of iffy thing, but still I think that is a very, very solid upgrade for that card. GG's again to EA. Also, um, we all, we did... We got a pack uh, SBC as well. They keep releasing these almost every day, getting a tradable pack supply. I think today, was it foot 17? Or was it this over the goal line? It might have been this one. I, one of these was today. I forget which one it was. I think it was probably this over the goal line for a prime gold players pack. Those are great value, especially with all the special cards that are in this game right now. If you want to open packs, uh, there is a great way to grind the menus right now in FIFA, and that is doing league SBCs. If you literally just want to open packs at all times, League SBCs, and especially Bronze Pack Method, and into a League SBC like the Kami Bowl or the Sud America SBC Method is unbelievable right now. Doing League SBCs and grinding these packs is unbelievable profit right now because every couple packs, you're going to hit an inform, you're going to hit a special card, you could hit a big boy special card with all the ones that are in packs. And of course, you're probably spending a lot less than 10,000 coins on most of the SBCs individually uh, or around 10K. You know, you get an inform, it at least quick sells for 10,000 coins and those cards are popping up in so many different packs. You could get multiple special cards in a pack. So um, if you want to do something on your menus, if you're tired of grinding the objectives or you finished, do League SBCs. Honestly, it is a fun way to spend coins, but also make profit at this stage of the game and it's just fun opening packs and getting a lot of cards and packing a lot of cards too so that's what i would recommend if you're looking to just do something on the game and you don't want to do objectives and you don't want to trade just open packs like this is the time of the year where you can open packs have fun and actually be profitable with it this is something that i might do a little bit later on this week maybe after i'm done finishing up the objectives is just grind league sbcs because they are so profitable at this stage i'm getting further on ibrahimovic i'm getting further on kubo I'm getting further on uh, Bruno as well, and I'm very close, very close on the 93 Mendy. I only have five more assist wins and rivals, and I'm kind of doing all four of these at the same time as I can um, in division rivals, which right now I think I'm in rank two, almost to rank one, which is ridiculous because I've never been rank one. Finished rank one in division rivals, especially at a time of the year where there's a lot of people playing. So I've been playing the more FIFA, most FIFA right now, actual in-game FIFA, than I have basically for the entire year, which is very interesting. But let's get back to the market side of things because again, when you have a card like Fabinho release with all the hype that this is gonna have, what kind of cards are gonna get impacted directly? Uh, David Luiz today, the midfielder, David Luiz shapeshifter. This card got killed in price. David Luiz right now is like 120, 130,000 coins. This guy was 190k, 180k just yesterday before the weekend league sell-off, uh, and he just got absolutely trounced in price. 128k at the moment with a shadow chem style. We might have to add that to the transfer targets really fast. Looks like somebody was already on it. Chemistry style trading is an absolute uh, good way to still make coins in this game. What is the next cheapest dial with Louise? Uh, okay, so that really wasn't that big of an undercut because there's a 129 and a 131, which is interesting. But um, this card dropped a lot of price today. Basically, that is a substitute good on the market. So the Fabinho SBC is 140K. It's got better stats than this Dive of the Wii. So why would this Dive of the Wii still be more expensive uh, than Fabinho? Although the stats on this Dive of the Wii compared to Fabinho, they're not far off. Like this is a really, really good card. I like to pick up on panic selling on stuff like this uh, pretty often. And I haven't actually watched uh, Dava Luiz's price today, but if I do see him maybe back down towards the low 120s again, 
uh, I might get kind of interested because this is the type of card, Brazilian Premier League Arsenal links, uh, that if another SPC comes out, when the Fabinho is kind of done and dusted, uh, I know a lot of people have done that, that that Fabinho card, but still, there is still demand for a card like this on the game. He's still 140k on the Xbox. He's 128 on the PlayStation at the moment. What did he drop to today? He dropped down to, okay, the 120. So he's kind of been chilling around the 120, 130k mark, 125 maybe. In the next couple days, the next day or so, um, you might see this card start to trickle back up as he goes out of packs. I would not be surprised if this card ends up being 150,000 coins in, uh, you know, maybe like a week or two. Just because when the Fabinho SPC goes away, there might be more Brazilian players that come out of FIFA, more possible links. And some people might want to play this Diva Louise alongside of um, their Fabinho. So a lot of other center defensive mids and honestly, a lot of TOTS cards dropped today on the market as well. I was looking at some, uh, just the cards I was looking at last night. Uh, people just don't have a lot of coins on this game right now, so they have to go out and sell things to just complete SBCs and even just do stuff on this game. So a guy like this, Holland, uh, he was like 470, 480 earlier uh, on Sunday. Even with the weekend league sell-off, he didn't get that low. And tonight, I saw this card at 420k. Like, and now he's, now he's back up to 460. So these cards are fluctuating a decent amount, but they're also... Uh, a lot of them got got sold off today because right now people are kind of shifting some of their teams maybe to league teams instead of rocking some of these other SBC cards and other teams they've been doing before. Timo Werner earlier tonight, I bought one for 835. He's now back up to 900,000. Did I sell my Timo Werner? Is that what sold here? My Timo Werner did not sell. I'm going to have to list this thing up, man, because Timo, I have my listed for 920. I'm going to go for 907 because I bought that at 835. That would be a nice flip right there. Uh, I have some other cards that I'm trying to flip still as well. But you did see a drop in price on basically Team of the Seasons and other cards uh, that are out of packs just because people had to sell their cards to go do the SBC. Cards that went up today, this is a very, very, uh, you know, a situation that makes me evident that there is still hype in this game. Check this out. Virgil van Dyke. Virgil van Dijk in the weekend league sell-off just earlier this weekend, this team of the season, Virgil van Dijk, was 1.85 million coins on Sunday night because he was 1.9 after going up about 100k after Liverpool won the league. There was a lot of hype. This guy is now over 2 million coins as people have completed the Fabinho and they've gone out and they're playing with Liverpool players. They're getting their links to these new SBCs. So this van Dijk is up 200,000 coins, which is a big dub there. If maybe you bought one after the weekend league or something like that. Uh, and then Salah is another one that was up a lot as well. He saw some interesting panic earlier on this weekend. Uh, but Salah is literally up like 150,000 coins. He was in the 700s on Saturday and Sunday. And my guy is now 900,000 coins at the moment. He's up 150,000 coins. Just again, because of links to Fabinho, Mane's informs are up, and a lot of just Premier League cards in general. It's Premier League Team of the Seasons. Again, if there's any other card right now that is hyped in the game, Team of the Seasons and Summer Heats are the two most hyped up cards for like usable weekend league teams because these cards are still very, very cheap on the market. Henderson, very similar to the, the David Louise situation today. This card dropped a lot in price because of obviously a substitute good coming onto the market. Um, I would expect this card maybe to rise up a little bit, but I'd like to see him drop a little bit more. 122, he's now 128, 130. You know, if you saw this guy maybe at like 115, 110 to 115, I could see that being a another riser just because he's still Liverpool. A lot of people are buying up those types of cards. Wambasaka is up like 10, 15K. Alexander Arnold's up like 30, 40,000 coins uh, today. I think even KDB is up. Um, Richarlison is an interesting one to me because this is a a green link as well. This guy was like in the 870s, I think, on uh, on Sunday. Yeah, 870s. He's now back up. I saw him over 900k for a bit earlier today, but 860. So, you know, this is a card that it seems to be like people might be transitioning a little bit to the Premier League after we've had a couple. Um, the last few cards we've seen on this game have been more geared towards the Prem, right? Think about what we had at the beginning of this promo. We had French. We had Ferland Mendy. Uh, we had La Liga, right? Think about some of the La Liga cards that came out and have come out in the past couple of weeks uh, with the Modric SBC, now with the Mendy uh, objective. 
Then you had the Andabale objective, which is still French. You had the Tsar. Uh, and now we're kind of maybe moving towards some Brazilian, right? With Fabinho, with, um, um, what's his name? Firmino, Fabinho and Firmino, both uh, from the same team. And their names are very close and similar. But uh, maybe you see a little bit more Prem links rising this week. Again, be very, very careful with what cards that you might be investing in. Because again, as I said in yesterday's video too, any SBC could come with the Summer Heat promo and the way that EA is running it. Any SBC could come any day that would cause a card that you have invested in to fall and to crash on the market because a substitute item is released on FIFA. So just be careful and just be cognizant of that. Today on Tuesday, what do I expect for content? We haven't had a vote in the last couple days. So I would almost expect today that we would get some sort of vote. Uh, the next voting for uh, a summer heat player of course we had the ericsson vote and now we have the ericsson sbc but we haven't had any votings after that so i would expect another voting today uh and probably another pack supply sbc today might be a little bit more quiet on fifa since we got a big time sbc yesterday i'm not entirely sure what ea would do uh today but again some of these cards that were in packs ben Yedder's down a little bit he was like 550 yesterday um let me check marcelo that's another popular one people were looking at. This is Brazilian links as well, maybe for like a hybrid situation with uh, Fabinho, Marcelo as center mid, linking to, you know, some other Brazilians and like Ferlin Mendy. He's 260, so he's similar to the same price where he was. Again, just be careful if you're buying stuff that is in packs and water, just continue to watch and monitor. That's what I'm trying to say. Watch and monitor these foot birthday cards that are going to be coming back into packs most likely on uh, Thursday or Friday, one of those two times. So it looks like St. Maxman is up just a smidge, 1.08, up just a little bit. Did EA change their time frame on this at all? They did not. Two days, 14 hours. That still shows me that Thursday at 6 p.m. UK is when we will see these batch one cards uh, not in packs and batch two coming back out. I guess uh, I don't know when we're getting the tiered objective. I talked about that in my video yesterday that we should have been getting the tiered objective for how many games you've played um, um, in Ultimate Team in a certain period, but we have not seen that pack release yet. So that could come today as well. Maybe we get the engagement reward for the past two weeks and then the another vote for a Summer Heat SPC player uh, coming today as well. So that is something we could see in FIFA Ultimate Team. Again, a lot of market movements, a lot of Premier League uh, squads probably going to be built this weekend. So maybe some Thursday flipping ideas. You start to look at Premier League, Brazilian, and French. Again, if you want to mess around with some of that stuff, icons as well with those nationalities could be very good. Uh, and yeah, GG's again to EA. This Summer Showdown concept inside of Summer Heat is fantastic. This is one of the best uh, things that they have done, especially with the card boost and the card selection with the first two. The first one was fine. The second one now is unbelievable. This is awesome content from EA Sports. Big thumbs up, big GGs. Jamie Foot Economist, whoever is in charge of this, take this into next year, all right? You can't juice cards like this, I know, in November, in December, right? But you can give out nice cards, good links, good nations. People are going to do those SBCs, especially when it brings in a real-life football aspect into FIFA Ultimate Team. People really, really dig that. So if you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.